Welcome to Wealthion. I'm Wealthion founder Adam Taggart. I'm here with a quick explainer video for you about how to buy very short dated U.S. Treasuries, known as T-bills, directly from the U.S. Treasury using the Treasury Direct website. As you know, if you're a regular viewer on this channel, I've been making a lot of noise recently now that T-bills are offering yields around 5%. That's a very big development as investors who are concerned about today's financial markets now have somewhere safe to park their capital, keep it relatively liquid, and get paid a decent return on it. That hasn't been the case for a long time. When your T-bill yields have been at record lows for much of the past decade, down near 0% for many years, the last time they were this high was 2006. And with the inflation rate as measured by CPI falling, it may not be very long before T-bills offer a positive real return when adjusted for inflation. Again, that hasn't been the case for a very long time. I can't tell you how many times I've had investors tell me, I'm too spooked by the turbulence of today's uncertain markets. If I could just find a safe place to get a four to 5% return on my money for the time being, I'd be thrilled. Well, that's now possible given where short-term yields are. T-bills are a particularly attractive option right now for folks with cash sitting in bank or money market accounts. According to Bankrate, as of the filming of this video, the national average yield for savings accounts is just 0.23%. It's pretty terrible. While the Fed has raised the federal fund rate faster than at any time in history over the past year, most banks haven't followed suit. They've been reluctant to raise their yields on savings accounts, money market accounts, and CDs, even though the Fed has been dramatically increasing the interest that banks receive on excess reserves. They're just keeping the difference to themselves for now, rather than sharing it with their depositors. I don't like that, but for now, they don't seem to care what I think. And while you can find some banks, mostly online ones, offering more generous rates, they still don't match what T-bills are offering right now. And those lower rates also come with counterparty risk greater than that of owning a T-bill. Anyways, it's been a while since I've done an explainer video like this, and I've received a ton of requests for one showing how to purchase T-bills straight from the U.S. government using the Treasury Direct website. So you've asked, and now I'm delivering. It's a pretty straightforward and quick process, but before I show you how to make a purchase, let me just provide a little context first. I'm going to show you how to buy T-bills, but the same process can be used to buy longer duration U.S. Treasuries, notes, and bonds, too. I'm not going to go into the additional considerations you need to keep in mind when buying notes and bonds here in this video, but if you'd like me to address them in a future video, let me know in the comments section below. If enough folks want me to, I'll be happy to do it. Also, I'm going to show you how to purchase T-bills using the Treasury Direct website. You can also buy and sell them through a brokerage account. I'm not going to show you how to do that in this video, but again, I can in a future video if enough of you say in the comments that you'd like me to. There are differences between using Treasury Direct versus brokerage platforms to transact in T-bills. Keeping it simple, Treasury Direct gives you more options when purchasing them, and brokerage accounts are more convenient when it comes to selling. But for most people, selling doesn't come into play very much because of the short duration that T-bills have. In most cases, you just let the bills mature and you get your full principal back at the end. As a quick rule of thumb, using Treasury Direct makes sense when you've got cash in the bank you want to earn a better return on. I'll show you how to link your bank account to the Treasury Direct website, and once that's done, the Treasury will pull the funds from your bank account to buy the T-bills and then deposit the full amount back into the same bank account or another bank account of your choosing on the date that the bill matures. If you have cash already in a brokerage account and you want to buy Treasuries with them, it probably just makes more sense to buy the bills through your broker, or perhaps maybe even using an ETF like BIL. For questions on how to do that, ask your financial advisor, or if you don't have one, contact your broker directly. Again, if you'd like to see me do another explainer video on how to purchase T-bills via a brokerage account, let me know in the comment section below. All right, enough background. Let me show you what the process looks like using Treasury Direct. It's so easy, anyone can do it in just a couple of minutes. First, go to the treasurydirect.gov website. If you haven't done so before, open an account by clicking this open a new account link over here, and then clicking on the apply now button down here. 
then simply follow all the account opening instructions as prompted. One pro tip here, though, the Treasury Direct website is a little clunky as A, it's designed by the government, and B, it has a ton of security precautions in place. One thing that takes a little practice to get used to is that you can't use your browser's back button. If you do, it logs you out of the website and you have to start over. Yeah, it's a bit of a hassle, but I guess it's worth putting up with if it keeps your money more secure. Okay, once you have an active account at Treasury Direct, then you want to go back to the homepage and click the big blue Treasury Direct login button. Once you're successfully logged in, you'll arrive at your Treasury Direct My Account homepage. Click on the tab titled Buy Direct. Now click on the Bills Radio button and then click Submit. Okay. This is the page you'll use to tell Treasury Direct which T-bills you want to purchase, when you want to buy them, and how much of them you want to buy. First off, let me specify that when you buy these T-bills from the Treasury, you're buying what are called new issue bills. These are brand new bills that are being issued at auction and are different from the already issued ones that are being bought and sold on the open market. You will be the first, and in most cases, likely the only owner of these new issue T-bills. T-bills are sold according to their duration. Durations range from four weeks to eight weeks to 13 weeks to 17 weeks to six to 26 weeks, and finally 52 weeks. Auctions for all but the 52-week T-bills are held weekly. Auctions for 52-week T-bills happen monthly. The table here shows you the Treasury's upcoming calendar for T-bill auctions. The auction date column tells you when the auction will happen, so you'll have to place your order by the afternoon before this date. The issue date is when the T-bill is actually issued into your Treasury Direct account. Now, for those wondering what actually happens at an auction, the big banks and other large buyers actively, build for the bill, actively bid for the bills the Treasury releases on that day. That's a competitive process that sets the yield that regular folks like you and me will receive for that specific tranche of T-bills. To get a sense for what yields on recent auctions have been, scroll down here and click on the View Recent Auctions Result link. It pulls up this page that shows you the results of recent auctions. You'll want to find the most recent auction for the duration you're interested in. Let's look at the most recent one for the four-week T-bills that were issued on March 7th, 2023. You want to look over at the far right column titled investment rate. That's the yield you would have received if you had bought T-bills at this auction. Remember, these are the results of the most recent auctions, but they're no guarantee of the rate you'll get when you buy your T-bills. Rates change from auction to auction, usually not that much over a one week period, but just know the yield for your T-bills will be set by the auction that happens during the specific one that you participate in. Okay, heading back to our purchasing page, you simply click the radio button next to the type of T-bill and auction date you want. Here, I'll select the four-week T-bill auction happening on March 9th, and then scroll down to the purchase amount field. In that field, enter the amount of those T-bills you want to buy. Here, I'll put $100 which is Treasury Direct's minimum purchase amount. FYI, one advantage purchasing T-bills on Treasury Direct offers um, is the $100 limit. Most brokerage accounts require a $1,000 transaction minimum when buying T-bills. Now, make sure the bank account you want to use for funding the purchase is the correct one selected. Also, make sure you've got sufficient funds within your bank account before attempting to make your purchase. <laughs> Next, determine whether or not you want your T-bills to be reinvested when they come up for maturity. Reinvesting makes sense if you don't need immediate access to the money and expect yields to remain attractive. Treasury Direct lets you keep reinvesting your T-bills automatically for up to two years. So select how many times you'd like your T-bills reinvested, or if you don't want them to be, just select the no option. Here though, I'm gonna request my four week T-bill be reinvested six times. Note that I can log back into this Treasury, account, Treasury Direct account at any time in the future and cancel any future reinvestments if I wish. Finally, you need to tell Treasury Direct where to deposit the proceeds once your T-bill matures and any reinvestment cycle is complete. In most cases, this will be the bank you had the funds withdrawn from, but you have the option at any time to specify a different bank account to receive the funds 
should you wish. After you've done that, then all that's left to do in our example here is click Submit. Treasury Direct then displays details of the confirmation of your purchase. Be sure to review the page carefully to make sure everything is as you expect. And if it is, then click the blue Submit button. And it's that easy. A few days later on the issue date, your new T-bill purchase will show up in your Treasury Direct account. Now, in most cases, you'll simply wait until the bill matures. When it does, it'll either be automatically reinvested as many times as you specified, or when there are no reinvestments left, the proceeds will be deposited in the bank account that you specified. In terms of how the math works, here's how it goes. With T-bills, the Treasury doesn't make any interest payments. It simply sells the T-bill to you at a discount and then pays you the full principal of the bill upon maturity. The difference from the funds you paid and the funds you receive is your yield. Here's a quick visual to help. Look at the recent results for the four-week T-bill auction on March 2nd, 2023. If you'd bought $100 worth of these T-bills then, the Treasury would have charged you $99.64 and three-tenths of a cent for them. When the bill matures four weeks later, it will deposit the full $100 worth of face value back into your bank account. In wrapping up here, it's important to know that any gains you receive from investing in T-bills are exempt from state and local taxes. There are nuances I didn't have time to get into here in order to keep this video concise, like how to sell a T-bill. As I said earlier, in most cases, that won't be necessary as T-bills have such short durations, you can just wait until your bills mature and get your full funds back. But know that to sell any T-bills you've bought through Treasury Direct, you'll need to transfer them to your brokerage account in order to do so. It's not a huge deal, but if you think there's a good chance you'll want to sell your T-bills prior to their maturity, you're probably better off just buying them through your brokerage account from the get-go. Okay, does buying T-bills right now make sense for you? If after viewing this video, you're still not certain, talk to your professional financial advisor and get their take. If you don't have a good one to ask, then consider talking with one of the advisors wealthy on endorses to get their opinion. It's completely free and there's no obligation to work with them. These are the same experts you see on this program with me every week. To schedule one of those free discussions, just fill out the short form at Wealthion.com. And if you find these short explainer videos of value and would like to see more of them, please let me know in the comments section below. Feel free to suggest any additional topics you'd like to see covered in a future video. And if you want to see more of these, please support this channel by hitting the like button and clicking on the red subscribe button below if you haven't already, as well as that little bell icon right next to it. Thanks so much for doing that, and thanks for watching.